Well, hey, if I can make a comment. You yeah. sure can. Hey, that's our, our little our song guy. And don't forget, the Bible is just so huge. It would take a miracle for it not to predict anything. Good point. And, uh, uh, and when they leave it that wide open, that but uh, uh, I, I can't believe, I find a hard time believing uh, that there are people out there who believe 100% of the Bible there. Okay, uh, I do appreciate your comment, Arla. Uh, let's go back to Don. Don? Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry I cut you off there. Yeah, well, I thought you were trying to get rid of it. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, uh, you know, we didn't accept my challenge to debate. And, uh, you I, I'd be glad to, uh, sir. If you'd like to debate me on Bible prophecy, I, I'd debate you on that. Okay, well, uh, but what do you... But you're contacting. You've got to say that well, you want to do it. No, it, no. It, uh, our voicemail is three seven one two nine one one. No, no, I'm giving you. I'm telling you right now. You know my number. I do. Yes. Okay. Uh, the latest switchboard knows my number. Okay. And if you can accept the challenge right now, we'll just arrange the time and the place. I I'd be glad to. And uh, but we'll take a few minutes while we got you on here. What what's your take on this prophecy here? I just talked about where Matthew is quoting the Bible, and we're talking. Uh, uh, Matthew is quoting Jesus himself. In Matthew chapter 2, verse 23. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, that's not the one I'm, uh, I'm well, talking about. Why don't you go to John uh, 7? Since I'm in John 7, 38, why don't you go there? That'd be a good place to first. Okay, one, let's read it. Uh, uh, read. Read, would you read that again? I, I noticed you had a little problem with that. Would you read it again? Which one? John 7 and verse 38. Uh, I'm trying to find it here. Hang on, I'm sorry. Uh... Did I actually read that one early? Yes, I didn't see the first page. I think That's I saw the it. first one you were reading when I turned mm, Nope. Oh, oh, yeah, John 7, verse 37 through 38. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. And he who believes in me, as the scriptures have said, out of his heart will flow the rivers of the living water. At that time, the only scriptures were the Old Testament. Yet, nowhere in the Old Testament does it say any... Can you find that sentence? Okay, now... Notice this is a statement. Like I said, you had a little problem reading that particular verse. Number one, I don't know which uh, version uh, the person who wrote that book out is. Good point. Yep. In Revelation, the word is belly. Is what? His belly. Out of his belly shall flow. Okay? Now, well, this one says heart, so let me well, try to find I say, the yoga, I don't know where he got that from. Uh, you need to find out because... We should say in the beginning which, said, uh, which, which version he uses. Out of his belly... Um, Which version are you quoting from then, sir? I'm using the King James, the one that's been around for a long, long time. Okay. Now, number one, the first point I'd like to, to show sure. you is that this is not a prophecy, number one. How do you and if you read that scripture correct, it said, He that believes on me as the scripture hath said, comma. In other words, Jesus is making a statement that if anyone believe on him as the scripture has said, believe on him like the scripture said, has said, He's making a statement that out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So what did the scripture so say? The problem is in reading. No, no, what no, did the no, no, say? no, no, no. The scripture said. Where in the Old Testament does it say, out of his heart will flow, out of his belly, if you're using your version, out of his I belly will flow the rivers of living water? He was telling me what would happen to them if they believe on him as the scripture has said. What does that mean, as the scripture has said? Define that. He said, if you believe on me as the scripture has yes. said, he stopped making a general statement that whatever the scripture said about him, if they believe on him as the okay. scripture has what? said, the same manner that the scripture said that out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But okay. the challenge is this. I've got to go because okay. I'm getting ready to go to church. I appreciate that. So and That's just one, and I, I'm going to try to get that book. Thank you. And, and wait a minute. Uh, no, I'm not turning. I was, I was saying thank okay. you for so, try, for one, reading the book. I have to read scripture. That's number one. And number two is that before you count somebody as an authority, you need to check and see what they say. The, the scripture says that I'm reading says belly. And if you look okay. at, in a Greek testament, it would also tell you that that word is belly, not heart. Well, that, the, so I, I'm not blaming you. I'm okay, just, well, you brought up an excellent is, point. I, all I'm saying is to you, you need to get your information correct. Okay. Now, we're going to raise this debate, and we're going to make it public, but Thank I've got to go now. Okay? All right, you have a good day. Same to you. Okay, let me put, he brought up a good point. Just give you a few ideas of what Bible is. There's the New Testament of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, American Union Version. There's the New Testament, Henry Alvin. 
good news for modern man. In the New Testament in basic English. The New Testament for the language of the day. The Berkeley version of the New Testament. The New Testament American translation. The New Testament in translation of uh, somebody I can't even spell. Uh, the New Testament according to Eastern text. These are that's just a short list. Mm. There's over a hundred different versions out there. So you know, if it was such a divine instrument, it seemed like there'd be one standard version out there. 